just a few days ago, I was walking out in tank top and shorts, and today I had to grab my umbrella and, of course, my coat because these showers have come down here. Our America's Mattress Live Tower camera showing us those mostly cloudy conditions across western Colorado. Now, a cold front did come through yesterday, dropping our temperatures. 56 degrees for our highs today. That is nearly a 40 degree difference from where we sat yesterday. And of course, those record breaking lows that we heard Lena talking about. The last time we saw 40 degree temperatures during this time of the year was back in the 1890s. Currently here in Grand Junction, 39 degrees. Those winds moving from the west and our humidity near 95%. Montrose at 42 degrees. Those winds move from the north northwest and their humidity at 96%. Now temperature changing happening all over the Grand Valley here. 50 degree difference from where we sat yesterday in Grand Junction. 44 degree difference in Delta and 42 degrees cooler in Montrose. Now, hazy skies showing mostly clear throughout Grand Junction. Just below us in Montrose, all the way stretching down to Durango. Some light haze continuing and stretching as far as Denver. Air quality index sits just the same as it did yesterday, still in that moderate condition. Air quality health advisories for wildfire smoke have been issued by the Colorado Department of Public Health. Now, for us here specifically in Grand Junction and throughout most parts of our other viewing areas, freeze warnings, winter weather advisories, as well as winter storm warnings that are expected to stick around through Wednesday afternoon. And of course, for our neighbors over in Utah, some high wind warnings continuing as well. I want to pull back and take a look out just to the West Coast. If you notice there, California as well as Nevada, they are lit up with pink. Now, that is fire weather watches and warnings from all of the wildfire smoke and excessive heat continuing there. Completely different story from what we're experiencing here. Even some snow on the front range. Pollen forecast showing we towards the higher end of the spectrum. Grasses sit low, trees and mold non-existent right now. Our Grand Mesa got hit with some snow earlier. These are images taken by the CDOT cameras on some of our passes here. Red Mountain Pass also seeing some snow out on those roads. Vail Pass and Glenwood Springs, some slippery conditions out there. So if you plan to be on the roads over the next couple of hours and even days, we want to make sure that you are taking all precautions when on those roads. Wednesday is going to show those showers sticking around with us here through Grand Junction, Delta, Montrose, Gunnison, and Aspen. We'll see Thursday, a small chance, about 40% decrease in those showers. And Friday, we'll get hit with some more sunshine. And the warmer temperatures will not start to head back in until then. Not much rain accumulated yet, but by the time we reach Thursday noon, we'll see about 12 and then by Friday a little bit more of a quarter of an inch here in Grand Junction. Also some rainfall happening into our higher elevations. Our Mesa expected to see three to six inches of snow over the next couple of days and of course Aspen as well as Gunnison getting hit with some of those inches as well and of course we'll continue to give you those accumulations over the next couple of days. Tomorrow Still in the 50s for us here in Grand Junction, mostly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy conditions in our high country as well. We'll see those breezes moving with gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Back to tonight for those record-breaking temperatures, 40 degrees in Grand Junction, our high country, getting some below freezing temperatures in Gunnison as well as Aspen and Grand Junction. There's another look at that extended seven-day forecast. Another day of 50-degree temperatures, two more days of some storms and thunderstorms, some sunshine by the time we hit the weekend in Montrose 59 60 69 and 74 degrees I don't know about you all but I am definitely enjoying this rain in mostly cloudy conditions and of course I'll have another look at what you can expect for the rest of this week in just a few minutes